Hi guys, this is Eclipse back with another video. Today, we're gonna do something different. You know, unlike other videos where there's music, this time it's me voicing over this experiment on two consistency of paint. One is the runny and the other one is the more on the thicker side paint. So I'm gonna give you a rundown of the color that I'm, I'll be using today. But these color I actually mix with a little bit of pouring medium, water to dilute them, a few drops of silicone, and alcohol for the cell. Now here we go. Uh, you can see. Let's start. Let's start with the white. You can see right here that the col the paint is actually really really runny. Now this next one is actually phthalo blue. You know, I, I love phthalo blue. And you can see that the alcohol actually start to does it work already. And this next one is actually ultramarine with a tiny bit of black. You know, I want to keep it a little bit dark. You can see, like, the effect of it in the cup. And this one right here is light ultramarine. Again, the same ultramarine, just a tiny bit lighter. This next one is actually cerulean blue. One of those beautiful, beautiful light blue. And the last one is actually turquoise. Now this turquoise is different from the normal turquoise because it has cerulean adding into it. And you can see right here, I'm reaching back for the cerulean cup because I want a little bit more of the shine. Now before we go even further, let me take this time to answer your question. I know you guys are probably wondering, why am I voicing over rather than you know, just talk at a spot? Well, because the place that I was shooting at was too loud and I can't talk since the audio quality is not going to be that good. Now, back to the painting here. As you can see, I only give them a few seconds to you know, drop down and collect on top of the canvas because the paint was actually really watery and runny it doesn't take need much time now this moment right here I kind of feel disappointed because like the canvas somehow the canvas was not level and it's built to one side but then as you can see the cells start to pop up guys like you guys need to give alcohol a try you know, I've spent 15 months trying to, you know, get big cell. And finally, I found the answer. It's alcohol. You need to give it a try. Now, as you can see right here, I'm fixing the point, those spots that the paint can reach while the st we're stretching the paint. But I don't want you to focus on my hand. I want you to focus on the top left side of the canvas. See those white spot, you know, those flower, those cell. See how they slowly popping up. See? Now if you didn't catch it the first time, rewind the video and watch them popping up again. Now, I don't know if it means something to you, but personally, I love to see when cells popping up. This right here is my best friend, the blowtorch. You can see like right here, I use it the torch, you know, to heat up the oil at underneath, you know, to rise up. Those who didn't get to rise up before, now it's time for them to rise to create more cells. L like really. There's nothing here, just me torching away the silicone and trying my best not to burn the paint. Nothing, nothing at all. Right here, from this moment onward, I want you to focus on the bottom right side of the canvas. I want you to focus on those few cells and see how they get bigger and bigger and bigger. It is a very slow process for cell to 
get bigger on their own, but this is the very satisfying part of this process. Within a few seconds, I'm going to let you guys watch the close-up shot of the painting while I'm going to put some background music on. Here we go. This second pour is a more thicker, on the thicker side of consistent paint. As you can see, uh, I don't know if the angle is good for you, like it's good for you to see. You can see like right there, it was thick. So yeah, this is a more thicker, on the thicker side. Same thing. You know, start off with the white in the background. As you can see how it pours, I could pour really, really slow. Slower than like the first one. Now the other is gonna be the same. White, phthalo blue, ultramarine, light ultramarine, cerulean blue, and turquoise. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up because this is a very long and boring process. This next process is more of a habit because I love to add a base coat before I flip the cup because by doing that so the paint has a better chance of stretching. After the flip, you have to keep in mind that with a thicker consistency paint, you need to give it more time for them to drop down from the bottom of the cup to the canvas. Because, I mean, it's a thick paint, it's going to take more time than a thin paint. Just going to give it a few tap here and wait a little bit more for them to drop and we're gonna f lift up the cup. This really gets on my nerve. Like Again, once again, the canvas is not level and you can see the paint actually pouring down to the bottom side more than to the, the other side, which is a bummer. A real bummer. And once again, the alcohol start to work with the silicone that does their work. You can see like cell popping up and here I am playing with my best friend again, the blowtorch just to pop 
all the air bubble and also bring the cell to the top. Here comes the fun part, let's stretch the paint. And yes, I have been asked about how I stretch my paint in a Facebook group on the previous video on how I get big cell. Um, I learned that you have to be patient with stretching the paint. You know, with each time that you stretch it to one direction, make sure that you return all the paint back to the center of the canvas before moving in another direction. And yes, when you're dealing with cell, if you want to get big cell, you have to do it slowly. That's why I said you have to be patient while stretching the paint. This here, I feel like I love how the left, top left side and the bottom right side, I love the contrast of that turquoise and the white with blue down the bottom. So if you can see in a bit, like I'm going to try to keep those two on the canvas as much as I can. Bear with me. Uh, I'm not gonna speed up the video because I want you guys to see how slow I stretch my pain. This is not slowing down. This is real speed of me stretching the pain. It is better to do it this slow. I'm not quite sure if you can see it clearly in this video, but I love how the turquoise react with the ultramarine on the top left side and you can see like it's it's kind of like a spider web effect this is re this turns out really really cool it's really it really is it really looks like a spider web this moment right here is me trying to get rid of most of the big white spot on the bottom right side and only leave the blue part with white outlines on it because like I love I really love the contrast and now I'm bringing them back on top so that it's more of an equivalent between the bottom right side and the top left side and once again I cannot stress this enough you have to be patient like why rushing like this type of art is more of a relaxing thing why do you have to rush so take it slow You can see as I bring the canvas back down, you can see how the teal, the spider web on the top left side keeps on stretching and stretching and it looks better and better time through time. I got asked a lot by people about when do you know that a piece is done? Um, you know, like it's just up to your feeling. It's your own piece you're you're the owner of this piece so when you're feeling like it's done like stop stretching and stop messing around I've seen people messing around with their painting and then ended up screwing it up and you know it's not gonna be my video if I don't include footage of me cleaning the side of the canvas it's just something about the side of the canvas that really gets me you know, when your painting is dried, it's a very beautiful piece. But then you check the side of the canvas and there's this one spot that didn't get covered by the paint. You know, that's really, really making me angry. After having cleaned up the edges and corners, um, I'm just going to let it sit and rest. And in a few seconds, I'm going to show you a close-up footage off the canvas.
have to bring both canvases back into the studio because like the outside it's too dark and I can't see any color clearly. So I'm just going to show you the first canvas that was done with a runny paint. As you can see, there's some spot that are, has clear color separation, but some aren't, like it's so messy. And this next one is the one that is done on a thicker paint. As you can see, there's a clearer, a clearer color separation. So this is the result of the experiment. I hope you like it. And if you like it, just give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more of the same content. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.